Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today's lesson is about forming algebraic expressions. To begin with, there are some keywords or phrases that you need to understand before forming these expressions. Such a words, they are basically used to mean multiplication. Like for instance, Juma is twice as old as the sister. Here we are comparing Juma and sister. And the two are unknowns. We don't know how old sister, the sister is, neither do we know how old Juma is. But I've been given a statement like twice. So Juma is twice the age of the sister. So we can say let the age of the sister be at is x juma is twice the sister twice means you multiply by two so two times x twice x or two times x is equals to two x therefore if you come across the word twice and double it means you are multiplying the unknown like for instance if you come across a phrase like twice double and off these three phrases mainly direct you to multiplication also in the case you come up with a phrase like divided by and also quotient of also this one takes you to division added to sum of more than increased by or total this they mean addition also once you come across other phrases like subtracted from, difference, less than, take away, fewer than, decreased. All these phrases, they have the same meaning. That is, you're supposed to carry out subtraction. In our first example, we've been told that m added to twice m plus y. From the phrases that we've just discussed a few minutes, you can see the phrase added, which means addition. So we are adding m to twice m plus y. So twice means multiplied by 2. What are you multiplying by 2? You are multiplying m plus y. So the first thing, you multiply m plus y before adding m. So twice of this m plus y will be 2 bracket m plus y. Somebody can ask, why can't I do 2 multiplied by m plus y? If you know body mass, these are different meanings. In body mass, this means the multiplication is only between 2 and m. But remember, we are doubling m plus y together. That's why I'm putting brackets to show that this 2 is going to multiply everything, that is m and y. Therefore, this is not a correct concept. This is the correct concept. So 2 m plus y. We have already done twice m plus y now we add m so m plus two brackets m plus y and this is our answer you can as well also begin with two m plus y plus m it still means the same let's do another example in this question we have been told twice x divided by two here, there are two phrases, that is twice and divided. So, twice x means x times 2, which is 2x. Divided by 2, it means now you do the division, which is divide by 2. And this is our answer. You can as well write it this way. 2x or twice x divided by 2. Remember, this division is the same, as, is the same division as this one. When it comes to fraction. It means numerator divided by denominator. So also this means the same as this one. In this case, no simplification. So don't start saying by 2 by 2, then the answer is x. Just leave it there like that as an expression. Let's do our next example. In this question, there are two phrases. And the phrases are sum multiply. You also have another sum. So first of all, you get the sum of a and 7, which is a plus 7. 
multiplied by the sum of a and 3. So you multiply by the sum of a and 3. So you can either leave it this way or you put brackets to mean whatever is inside here is being multiplied with whatever is already inside there. So a plus 7 brackets multiplied by a plus 3. The danger of leaving answer this way is when it, when it comes to apply body mass, it can mean that this 7 is multiplied to a, but not this a and this 3. But remember, we are multiplying with the sum of a plus 3 and a plus 7. That's why I'm putting brackets to show that whatever is inside here is being multiplied with also whatever is inside there with everything. In this example, we are being told what is the area of a rectangle whose length is brackets 2x plus 3 and whose width is 5 centimeters. We know a rectangle. A rectangle is this kind of a shape. The length is bigger than the wing. And this kind of a, a rectangle, we have been told the length is 2x plus 3 and the wing is 5 centimeters. How do we get area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is length times wing. Therefore, we, to apply the formula, our length is 2x plus 3 brackets multiplied by our wing, which is 5 centimeters and we leave our answer like that remember when you're coming up with a algebraic expression you don't simplify or you can as well remove the bracket but you don't add so you can say 5 times 2 it's 10 x then 3 times 5 it's 15 then you leave your answer like that or even you can leave it to answer like this let's do another example in this question we need to come up with the perimeter of this semicircle whose diameter is d and the pi given is 22 over 7 to yeah. get perimeter of any circular shape we call it circumference and circumference of a circle is given by multiplying pi with the diameter in this case this shape is a semicircle Therefore, to get the perimeter of this semicircle, we need to get the circumference, which is the distance of the curved part, which is from here to there. From here to here is the circumference, and because the semicircle, we use a half. Therefore, from here to here, it's a half pi d. So now we have calculated the circumference of the semicircle up to this point. Passing through here, to finish the journey going around the whole shape, we add the diameter. Therefore, plus the diameter. You can leave your answer like this. Remember I said, when you're coming up with the algebraic expressions, you don't need to simplify. Or you can go one step further and divide here by 2, 1, by 2, 11. And your final answer shall be 11 over 7, D plus D. You are, if you leave your answer like this, it's also correct. I wish you the best and kindly remember to subscribe to my channel, share and also leave a comment. Also remember to practice, remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching, bye bye.